plan to develop a piece of land after other plans routinely continue to fail. The Mission Gateway Project, which is at Johnson Drive and Row Avenue, where the two meet right there on the map, is what we're talking about. Lisa Benson now joins us live from that area. And Lisa, the new plans now, I guess, show a scaled down version of what we saw last. That is right. This property has been empty, completely vacant since 2005. But now two companies have signed letters of intent for a third development plan in the past five years. Bars on the construction trailer and weeds standing more than three feet tall. I don't think this was the vision we had for this property. Last night, the developer for the 26-acre Mission Gateway project proposed yet another change of plans. Banks aren't lending money as as willingly as they used to. So a lot of misfortunes. Initially, the Cameron Group designed a mixed-use development with stores such as Sprouts Farmer's Market, a fitness center, and hundreds of apartments. The revised plan includes a Walmart supercenter and a boutique-style hotel. No apartments. Well, the hotel is supposed to go here where this construction trailer is and, and parking separate from Walmart. Walmart's going to go on that end. I've kind of given up on it. I just thought, well, we'll just be sitting looking at a vacant lot. Dan Wissing owns KC Home Rental just across the street. He's optimistic. Whatever it is, it's going to draw more traffic down this street. I'm excited either way. I mean, I would have preferred their probably original plan, you know, sounded like it was going to be something like more of a destination for people, you know, where a Walmart's just, you know, let's face it, it's a Walmart. City Council members still need to discuss the proposal and the area would need to be rezoned. Yeah. We're not even close. Uh, the council still has to decide what uh, they want to do, and uh, then we'll go from there. Now, this project is dependent upon public financing. In fact, the developer still needs $25 million in special obligation bonds. So, of course, we still have to wait and see what happens here on this property. Live in Mission, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.